Hello everyone, uh, FHRC Brony here and and uh, Tractor Driver Thirty One. I just want to make a little quick little update here to tell you that's to do with what I'm looking at right now. And uh, yep, I'm not getting new tires. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you my little wish list I've got. I got enough money. In. All right. Now, since I got enough money to buy a new car, one new car, this is what I'm going to get. I know it's currently out of stock, but my local hobby shop, this is Hobby People, in Lakewood, California, they said, I asked before I left to go to San Francisco for, for my little vacation. I asked them, will you guys have any more any more in stock for after the New Year's and stuff like that? And they said, yeah, they, they, they will get some. So once I get back there, hopefully we'll see this in stock. The reason why this is out of stock is just their warehouse that they told me. So it's pretty cool. I, I, I really want to show you guys this. I've been really been drooling over for an onboard audio uh, tracks of slash and uh, I really love the style of it and I really love the fact that they actually put engine sounds for cars like you find them on real torque racing trucks so that got my interest I really wanted it so I'm gonna get one and for those of you guys are that are looking at these pictures right now, are you and you saw a little XL5 system, you're gonna be like, mm, why didn't you use? Why don't you just go brushless? Yeah, I thought of that too. I know where you're coming from, but I already have a slash two wheel drive that's already been um, upgraded to brushless power and in this LCG chassis. I just want something that's stock and you know just have just have fun with it. And this is what I really want. If if that one goes out of my way, like if that thing doesn't interest me, interest me anymore, I could probably get this. A little 16 scale slash. You know, I know, a little mini slash. Based on an E-Revo. No big deal, man. It's okay. I'm thinking about getting one, too. Getting a slash, um, 16 scale. That was my cousin that just went inside the room. So, I don't know. I don't know. See, I am recording. Um, it's, it's, it's screen recording. Yeah. Also, I can tell it's getting red. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, here's the slash 4x4 with um, E-Revo chassis. It's the, like I said, it's the, it's the 16 scale one. So that means that it's based on the mini e Revo. As you can see, it looks nice. Yeah, a little miniature scale down version. Miniature version of the e Revo. Um, XL 2.5. Can I can you fall? I can't turn it down, it drops. I know, but come, like, take it easy. Take it easy, man. There's a two channel controller. Same thing, uh, this is the same controller that went that was included with my Rustler. And a six cell nickel metal hydride battery pack. And that's what it looks like in action. I don't know, guys. What do you think? 16 scale slash or OBA? <laughs> yeah, comment down below. <laughs> but um, currently they're selling it for $199.95. I don't know one. So they're selling it for one ninety five, ninety nine, ninety five, which is about two hundred. Which is about two hundred dollars. Or I can get the Traxxas Slash Two Wheel Drive RTR with the onboard audio for two sixty nine ninety five. So that's with tax. I'm with tax. I'm looking at close to three hundred dollars. And I, that's that's I have I have no money to buy a OBA Slash, but we'll see what happens, and. Uh, and uh, 
We'll see what happens. Because I'm really, really drooling over for an onboard audio slash so bad. So we'll see what my local hobby shop will do. And once they do have it, I'll buy it. See you guys later.